Okay guys, so tonight, hi, <laughs> look at this beautiful sunset and look at my crazy hair. <laughs> uh, so tonight what we did, put up, woo, almost fell. We put up uh, our radar mount. So the piece back here, you see how on the very left hand side that light gray looks a little bit different? That's the piece that I unfortunately dropped into Lake Ontario and it's now uh, about 25 feet below our boat um, called Quest uh, self-leveling radar mounts and they sent us a brand new one. Uh, had to pay for it but it was only about 200 bucks so much better than spending $1,800 on a new um, self-leveling radar mount. But on top there that's our GPS receiver. This is our AIS receiver but the really cool thing is we put on our mainsail and it's really neat because our mainsail is actually stored inside the mast. So it's called an in-mast furling system. Um, and then we have a furling Genoa as well. So um, yeah, it's pretty neat. So it makes pulling out the sails and putting them away really, really easy. Makes it very, very easy to reef the sails. Um, there's various um, uh, thought processes or I don't know what the term is. I'm kind of stupid right now. On uh, in-mast furling system as well as in-boom. Um, we didn't really, opinions. pardon? Opinions. opinions, that's what I'm looking for. Trains of thought? Yeah. Is that what the word is? Schools of thought? Is Schools of thought. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. There's not a way to think about it. Um, yeah, because they tend to get jammed, you know, if they're not put away correctly, uh, they can get jammed. We found, uh, we pulled it out, put it back in, and uh, it was kind of kind of tough, so we raised up the boom a bit and then it was nice and tight. So, uh, yeah, that's what we did tonight. Okay, Ben, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.